Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. In my previous video, I have shown you the detailed algorithm which works in the back end to detect circles present in image. Okay, and that implementation part I am going to show you in my this video. So here I am going to use the inbuilt function provided by MathWorks. Okay, if you want, you can write your own code also. You can get help from MathWorks file exchange. There are lots of hop transform for circle detection code available. You can just search in internet. Okay, but although you are using inbuilt function, don't forget to understand the actual algorithm because once you have one good uh, grasp on the actual algorithm, you can modify if it is required. Okay, so here. First of all, I have taken one image present in MATLAB database itself, which is coins.png. Okay, point to be noted: the inbuilt function which we use uh, to detect circles, which is present in MATLAB, that is implemented on grayscale or binary image. So, if you are taking RGB image, no problem. First, perform RGB to gray conversion, then apply. Okay. Now, here you can see there are circles of different radius present. Now you need to give that inbuilt function im find circle is which is present in MATLAB. That in that function you need to give which radius you want to measure. Now it is always better that we if we give one certain range of radius instead of giving a particular radius. If you give one particular radius value, it will detect that circle only which is close to that particular radius. And if you want to detect many different radius circles then in that case it is better to give the radius range then how we can find out the radius range the very simple idea is using im dist line it will give you the length of the radius in user interactive way let me just run this particular part of the code and if i done see here on the image one line you will be getting what i will do i will place one particular end in the boundary part and another one in the central part according to our assumption okay this particular point is approximately center of this particular coin and with the radius we are getting 29.45 let us check for one small image a small circle that is small coin this one almost placed at the center and if we just take here it is we are getting as 23.75 okay then suppose for maybe this one let us have one try here also 29.21 okay so maximum it can go according to our observation maximum the radius can go up to 30 let us check for this bigger one okay it is also going up to 29.53 so for small and uh, large both circle detection i will be giving the radius range from 20 to 30 and the code is centers radii because when you want to draw any circle then these two information only required one is center another one is radius that's all right the inbuilt function is im find circles give the grayscale or binary image then give the range of the radius which you want to find then im so x so the actual image give hold on and then to draw the detected circles fish color these circles you can use okay where you need to give this centers then radius values and edge color is blue so it will uh, give blue color in all the edges wherever it will detect the circle let me run the whole code and if i run see how beautifully all the circles are detected and the edges are given blue color okay now suppose i am giving the range smaller from 25 to 30 if i give and run um see here after giving the range 25 to 30 basically no no circles are detected okay so maybe i can give from 23 to 30 one range see some circles are detected some are not okay so these things you should keep in your mind while doing this kind of circle detection coding okay some more interesting part which I will directly show in this documentation which you should keep good attention while coding that is uh, this one consider some 
circles have color which is having higher intense in intensity than background some having intensity which is lower than the background okay in this case you can give two more piece of argument that is object polarity bright in that case those circle will be detected detected which are basically having the intensity more than the background okay see this is object polarity bright output okay and object polarity dark in that case you need to give this kind of key value pair object polarity dark okay then one more thing if you go below here you can clearly find more detail about this like here object polarity bright means the circle objects are brighter than background those will be detected which are dark that means the circle object darker than the background those will be detected and sensitivity sensitivity by default it is 0.85 but you can change what will happen if you increase the sensitivity factor i am find circles detect more circular objects including weak and partially uh, visible circles okay higher sensitivity values also increase the risk of false detection keep in mind this thing you cannot increase sensitivity uh, to uh, simply one okay because in that time some uh, structure which are uh, not at all circle those there is also possibility that those will be also detected and remember while discussing the algorithm how, what i have discussed obviously this all this hop transform for circle detection hop transform for line detection all have fundamental first step is edge detection so edge threshold you can give okay so if you uh, uh, just give the edge threshold inside quotation and mention some range from 0 to 1 then it will work according to that here you can read the explanation edge gradient threshold sets the gradient threshold for determining edge pixels in the image okay because first of all we detect the edges now the edge in while discussing edge detection i have discussed right the threshold concept that threshold you can apply here if the uh, edge detected intensity value having threshold more than that threshold for what you are defining then only edge will be detected otherwise not like this some kind of modification you can do output argument is centers the coordinate of circle centers and radii is the estimate radii for the circle centers which you are detecting okay and input always should be see input image input image the image which is obviously gray scale or true color or binary image okay that may be uh, unsigned integer 8 16 logical double whatever okay so these are some important concept related to circle finding in image obviously matlab has already done the job for us we can use this concept for making some beautiful project which i am going to show you in my next upcoming videos just go through this particular documentation in detail try to take some image from internet and apply this particular concept and test what result you are getting do some experiment and have fun thank you for watching